Uh, Hello. Right, I'll take it. We're good. Uh, Steve, you want to start us off? Judge, uh, it was a. It's been a crazy week um, for many reasons. Uh, to see the team uh, perform in the second half against more adversity, um, how would you how would you describe it, and what would you think of the the responses? Yeah, I thought the response was fantastic. I mean, to play well for a half, you know, create some chances, not give a lot away. Um, to go down twice and, and show character and show fight, um, especially coming off the last performance. Uh, it was fantastic. Great to see response from the team. They've taken in a lot of information in, in the last 24 hours and to be able to take that in and go out there and execute it fairly well, I thought was really impressive. How, how did it work in this first game since, the, since Wayne came back? Was he... Did you guys work together? Or so, so he can't coach, right? But right. he can basically give his information to the coaching staff, and then we're taking the coaching staff is taking the information to the players, and we're trying to run a training session to get across, you know, the main points both on the offensive and the defensive side. And again, I thought the guys, you know, it was it was a, a, a new look for us. It was a lot different, and I, the way the guys took it in and understood it. Uh, was impressive for the first time out. So obviously the more they get to do that and execute and work on it, it's going to get better and better. So for it to start with really not a ton of preparation so well, um, I think really bodes well. Hi, Jeff. Thanks Hi. for speaking with us tonight. I noticed during the match that there seemed to be a lot more patience on the ball, which is something that you've definitely emphasized over the past weeks. How did that play into the result tonight and the implementation of a lot of the other tactics that you keep bringing up in these press conferences? You know, it just had had a lot to do with shape and the guys being comfortable with that shape and understanding positioning. And, and obviously, again, at times it wasn't perfect, but it, it was there. Like you could see that the guys understood what the thought process of the shape was what it was supposed to look like. And then the other team starts to adjust and then you need to be able to find other spaces on the field to be able to exploit. But yeah, I thought overall our guys did a good job of being patient with the ball, building the game. Um, it, it let us have more freedom in terms of not having to be able to defend for, for too long a periods of time things of that nature. But uh, again, it, it was a lot of different ideas and they executed those ideas very well. Questions? Yeah. Uh, defense, better uh, tonight. Did you say something different to the guys for tonight's game? Because it was a lot better. Yeah, I, I, again, it had a lot to do with working on staying tight as a team and obviously we didn't give up a goal for, for quite a while. And you could see that we were just more difficult to, to have to play through. I think, you know, at times, especially when we've given up early goals, we've started to chase and our shape has just gotten too stretched out, especially in the middle of the field. And especially the first half, you could see we were very tight from the front to the back. We didn't give them a lot of space to play into. We kept them in front of us. Anything that was hit behind, we dealt pretty well with. But uh, obviously, you know, the, the the tighter you can keep things, then it's more predictable for everyone. But uh, again, the execution of it was was very good. See another one for you. Um, Jackson started, obviously, and seemed really comfortable out there. He was taking corner kicks, right? Mm -hmm. He was um, just showed a, a, a confidence to him. How do you think he's come along and where do you see him now going forward over the course of the season? He's an immense talent. I, I mean, he's a young guy and and he takes on information really well. So you only have to tell him one time and he figures it out and, and that's huge. But uh, the more minutes, again, similar to what I'm saying with regards to the team, the more minutes he can get and log in games, he's just going to become more and more comfortable. And I think things will slow down even more for him. So the game is obviously super fast when you step in the first couple times at that age, but you can see how quickly he can adjust and um, do more than hold his own out there. So impressive by him. Yes. Hello, sir. Here is Oscar Funes from Honduras. I want to ask you about Adinaja, uh, his game, his performance, and why he is out of the game. 
and how important can be Andy Nahar for the future of the team? He's huge to our team. You know, we're a different team when he's in the lineup. He brings a dynamic to the team that uh, is different to have an attacking back that can get forward and kind of unsettle other teams' shape a little bit. Um, the past couple, since the last game he played, he's, he's been dealing with a, a little bit of an injury. So we've tried to be smart with him. He has a real injury pass, so we want to be cautious. Um, but tonight, nothing with regards to any of that. It was just he was starting to cramp a little bit. So he's fine. He should be ready to go again. But again, we have to be careful in terms of the management of his minutes. Brian, we can do a couple from, from Jason and people on the phone. Jason. Hi, Jed. Uh, thanks for speaking with us tonight. Um, I wanted to ask, sort of building on um, the question about Jackson, um, some of the other guys that haven't played a ton this year, um, Chris came back uh, from quite a while since the last start. I think it was last October. And then we've seen lately Kamarni getting more time under you, um, what do you make of their performances tonight and just their general uh, evolution? Yeah, Chris, you know, hasn't logged a, a lot of minutes um, for, for quite a while. So, again, we have to be smart with him. We don't want him to, you know, take a step forward and then take a couple steps backwards with regards to injuries. He was starting to feel a little bit at halftime and, and basically said, look, I think it would be smart to come out. So, uh, again, we just want to be smart with him. Uh, as far as Kamarni, you know, he, he put in a really good shift, I thought. I thought he was dangerous. I thought you could see his athleticism. Um, he, in the attacking third, he had a lot of confidence in terms of running at guys, running at guys with pace. Um, similar to Jackson, I think the more minutes he can get and start to log, the more you're going to see him comfortable and confident. And um, he's got some real tools that uh, lend itself to attacking football, and I think it'll ser serve the system well. Thanks, Chad. Appreciate it. Okay. Thanks, Chad. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank you, Chad.